In this video, I wanna show you guys step-by-step -step how to start a blog and make money in 2022 because I make six figures a year with my blog for the last four years and I believe that if you use my same formula, you will have the same success. So you guys ready? Let's go. Okay, so step one is that you need to decide what you wanna blog about. Now many bloggers, they write about what they're passionate about, but unfortunately, every passion is not gonna make you any money. So the first thing that you need to do is think about how you can help people because the only way to make blogging the way I do is by helping people. So you wanna fill in this blank. I help people blank. You know, from my site, I help moms find ways to make money from home with their kids. You know, there's just honestly so much that goes into figuring out what to blog about and how to make sure that it's profitable. So I'm gonna do a separate video on that just to really break down how you can find out your niche or your niche, however they say it. So make sure you guys subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on that video. But whatever you decide to blog about, you want to be the one-stop resource for everything on that specific topic. So for example, on my blog, I cover pretty much everything you're gonna wanna know regarding moms getting jobs, okay? So step two is you need to choose a domain name. Now a domain name is very important and the domain name is the name of your website. Like the domain of my website is tried and true mom jobs. And I have a whole step-by-step -step article that kind of gives you guys my must-haves when considering your domain name. So definitely check that out. I'm gonna put it in the description below so you can just make sure you're considering these things when you're coming up with your domain name. But when you are looking for your domain name, I use Namecheap to check to see if it's actually available first. And if it is, this is really important to know. You wanna go ahead right away after you purchase it Create a TikTok account, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all in your brand new domain names website. Because you wanna make sure that if you ever decide to use those platforms, that your name is not already taken. And I know you might say, well, I'm probably never gonna use Twitter. Well, I also said I would never start a YouTube channel and look, here we are. So definitely just go ahead and just make sure you cover your bases just in case you ever end up needing to use one of those platforms. Now before we get to step three, let's talk about the sponsor of today's video and it's MailJet. Now this is something you'll wanna have if you have a blog with an email list. MailJet is an easy to use email marketing platform and it is free to sign up. They don't charge you until you have over 6,000 subscribers, which I haven't seen with any other services. MailJet's email editor allows you to create and send beautiful emails without ever having to touch a single line of code. Their email editor makes it easy to create engaging email campaigns, newsletters, and automated emails in minutes. Leverage an array of beautiful pre-designed templates so you have more time to focus on growing your business. So I want you guys to try MailJet today for free by using my link in the description below. And thank you MailJet for sponsoring this video. Okay, now back to the steps. So step three, you're gonna need to get hosting. Now I know there are many sites out there like Wix and Squarespace, but I use WordPress. And when I say WordPress, I'm talking about wordpress.org, the completely free version. And I want you guys to know that I know I get asked a lot, well, can I use Wix or Squarespace? All I'm going to say is that I do not know any successful bloggers that blog the way that I do that are successful on those platforms. And I think there's a reason for that, but I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna look for who's actually doing well and I'm gonna do what they're doing. So I know that I use WordPress, I'm making money very well the way that I blog. I know many other bloggers and they're all using WordPress. So I just like to stay with what is, what is tried and true the way I blog. So with WordPress, you need to get a host. And a host is like the home of your website. I like to relate to like getting a landlord. You know, in order to live on the internet, you need a home and you have to pay rent for it. It's not too expensive, but you have to pay to live there. Now the hosts, they host your website. So they keep all of your images, your content, just your entire website. And I have a whole step-by-step -step video tutorial on how to actually set up your host. And the host that I do recommend is SiteGround. So you'll see how that all works in the video tutorial. So when you're getting started with the website, that's what you need to do next. Step four is to create your website. Now this is the fun part. This is where you can kind of make your vision a reality. And I show you step by step how to do that in my video tutorial and give you a different example of how different blogs looks and then how you can make yours make it your own. So it's really helpful and I think it will really help you guys just kind of get over that hurdle of not knowing how to create your website. You're gonna be able to do that by following that tutorial. 
And my step-by-step -step guide also involves like that I'll put in the description below, like where to get your logos and all the really detailed stuff for starting a blog. So make sure you guys check that out. Just make sure that you're going step-by-step because -step you don't want to miss a step. All right. Now, step five is the next thing you want to do is to come up with things to write about. Now, the way that I do this is by figuring out what people are searching for on Google for my specific category. Because where do most people go when they have a question? It's Google. And what shows up in the search results? It's blog articles. So that's how I've been so successful with my blog is because I find out what things that people are searching for on Google and then I answer those questions through my blog articles. And because of this, I am constantly getting traffic to my website, which means I'm constantly making money, which we can get into next. So the first way that I make money from my blog is from ads. So just by reading one of my articles and if you pass an ad, that is known as an ad impression and I make money from that. The more people that you can get to read your blog articles that you have ads on, the more money that you can make and it's completely passive. That's why I love it so much. Now, because I have so many of my articles ranking in the search results, I'm always getting people to my website, which means that I'm constantly making money. So right now while I'm doing this video, I'm making money. That's why I absolutely love blogging and think that it is the best or one of the best ways to make money. Now from ads, I make between like four to $5,000 every single month. And I know a lot of people would tell you guys to start with Google AdSense when you are first getting started, but I, I beg to differ. I've heard a lot of people get messed up by signing up to Google AdSense in the beginning. So what I suggest is that you work to get people to come to your website first, and then when you get around to 10,000 pages per month, then apply to the higher paying ad networks like Ezoic, or when you get to the thing 20,000, you apply to Monumetric. And then when you get to 50,000, like I am, I'm with Mediavine and I absolutely love them. So that is one thing that I highly recommend you guys when you get your traffic up to at least 50,000 sessions in the last 30 days, that's how it works. And then you can apply it to Mediavine like I have and that's how you can get the higher paying ads. So that's how I'm, why I'm able to make so much is because I'm with a high paying ad network and you know they are the ones that are the middleman between the brands and my website and they structure everything and that's just and they set up the ads on my site and everything so that's how all that stuff works but don't get too complicated in that you just really want to focus on getting traffic first and then apply to the higher paying ad networks the next way i make money blogging is through affiliate marketing now affiliate marketing is my favorite way to make money because it's how i make most of my money now affiliate marketing is when you refer someone to a product or a service using a unique referral link. And if they make a purchase through your link, you earn a commission. Now I want to show you guys a quick example of how this works and how I do it through Google. Okay. So the first thing I want to show you guys is this KW finder tool. I use this to actually find out what people are searching for on Google. So I'll put in different questions that I think my targeted audience would search for in Google. And then it will tell me how often people are searching for that specific keyword how easy it is for that, for me to write an article to answer that specific question or not. And then I'm going to show you an example. So for this one, I want to show you, um, I did an article on the top 10 money earning apps. I found this keyword through this keyword tool. I don't even talk like that money earning apps. Like that's not something that I would typically look up, but just doing my research, this one, this came up and I was like, okay, so if people search for this, I want to follow their language. I want to use their language so I can make sure that I'm understanding what their question is. And then I ask myself, well, can I answer this question? And if I can, I write an article on it based on a certain criteria that I have. But for this example, I just want to show you guys. So if I found this one, now this one, I wrote this article over four years ago. So I want to show you how, like how this works. It can last for a very long time. So at the time when I did find this article, this was green, so it wasn't hard. So you can see this is a little harder now. This says 31 out of 100, but green means that it's easy. It used to be green, but over time things get a little bit more competitive. But this is green right here. You can see this keyword here. But yeah, so anyway, long story short, I'm not gonna get too in the details, but you can see that 4,200 people search for this key specific question every single month. And the keyword difficulty is 31. Now, when I'm typically looking for what to write about, I always look for green. I want what's easy to rank for on Google. But at the time when I did write this, it was green. Now, I wanna show you when you go to Google, what you're gonna find. So top 10, I just happened today. Okay, so if you go to top 10 money earning apps, you're gonna find my website. So it's the first thing that you see on the search results. 
So when you see this, most people are going to click on my article. It's the first one that's coming up in the search results. So this is how I'm getting traffic to my website based on keywords. Now I also want to show you guys this. So people search differently. So if someone's not going to put in top 10 money earning apps, but if they just put in money earning apps, my, my site still comes up. Now it's second right here, but it's good to be able to blog the way that I do because I'm able to capture different people's the way they search. So if someone is looking for top 10 money earning apps, they're going to find my article. If they're looking for money earning apps, they're still going to find my article. So I'm able to capture the, all these different types of people and how they put different things in Google and I'm still able to be high up in the search results. That's how I'm getting traffic to my article and this is how I make money. So if they come to my website and then they see one of these apps that I'm recommending, for example, Rakuten. So this is an affiliate partner that I have. So I have a unique referral link. Okay, so basically, if they click on this and they sign up, then I'm going to earn a commission. And then I give them a good reason about like Rakuten, why they should sign up, how it works for me, and to download now. So if they go ahead and download now, I earn a commission. That's just a quick example of affiliate marketing, how it works. But do you think about this? This person is specifically looking for this question. So the odds of them actually signing up for this app are very high. So that's why I'm able to do so well with affiliate marketing because they have search intent. Someone is specifically looking for a question and I'm able to answer their question by promoting a product or a service. And in this case, it's an app. So that's how I use affiliate marketing and that's how I'm able to make so much money because I'm able to answer people's questions through products and services. Hopefully that made sense. I know that was a lot. I jam packed that in there, but um, I just wanted to give you an example of how this works instead of just saying this is how you do it. I wanted to actually show you. All right, now the next way that you can make money blogging is through sponsorships. So once you start building an audience, companies will pay you to promote their products or services. Now, because I figured out how to get my articles to rank on Google, I constantly have companies that are reaching out to me to do a sponsored post for them. And I don't do anything under $1,000 now. So I'm gonna say the same thing to you guys. Work to get traffic to your website first, and then you'll have the upper hand and have actual companies come to you where you can charge what you want and be selective. So that's why I'm always promoting to blog the way that I do because we have the upper hand. People want us because they see that our articles are ranking on Google, and I show you guys how to do all this stuff. So make sure you uh, join my email list because I'm gonna provide you know ways on how you can do all of that. Now the next way to make money blogging is through selling your own products. Now a ton of bloggers do this and they do really well. And that's just like selling products, uh, many products for like eBooks or courses or any other products that they sell. They have a blog to support their product. And it just makes sense to do that. If you have a product, you should have a blog and you should talk about it. And then if you're especially ranking on Google, you're solving a problem. So the odds of someone actually being able to purchase your product are very high, especially if you're ranking in the search results. And that's just another income stream that you can have. So if you have your own product, you should definitely have a blog. Now, when you're trying to come up with what to blog about, it's important to just make sure that it's gonna be profitable. What you blog about matters. So if you wanna talk about personal finance, you're going to make more money. Or if you wanna talk about things like birds, you might not make as much money, but you also can make a lot of money still because I just listened to a podcast where this bird blogger is making six figures every single year using my same concept. He's being able to make money primarily through ads and affiliate marketing, and it's all by getting traffic to his website from Google. You want to be on Google because this is how people are finding blogs. You don't have to know these people. You don't have to get friends and family to support you. You just need to be answering somebody's question and making sure you're doing it in a way and writing your articles in a certain way where it can actually ring on Google and be found in the search results. Okay, so does this make any sense? I want you guys to let me know if you got it in the comment section right now so I know that like this made a little bit of sense to help you guys out if you're trying to figure out how to actually start a blog and make money. So let me know right now in the comment section if you got it or not. And if you didn't, let me know what you didn't understand and then I'll try to help you, uh, you know, figure that out, all right? So make sure you guys subscribe to my email list and I help you with all things blogging. I wanna thank MailJet again for sponsoring this video. I will put their link in the description below. And thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.